if it's here and it's food and it's a restaurant, chances are it made it for a good reason. Pizza, wings, beef on wick, fish fry, you name it, we got it, and it's probably the best in the entire country. Let's go through all the top restaurants right here, right now. what's going on you guys i hope all is well as always and in this video we about to be talking about something we all love know and enjoy at least three times a day which is food specifically in the buffalo new york area buffalo is famous for a few different things a the chicken wing of course beef on wig fish fry and you know we have that great slice of heaven which is that pizza we're going to take all these categories group them together and i'll give you kind of like the, the top three restaurants for each category so pizza three wings three subs you name it we're going to do that Let's knock the first two out, pizza and wings. You guys already know. My, from the last video I made back in, was that 2019, 2018? My number one pizza spot has changed. And I know what you guys are thinking. Yes, Leonardi's did close, children. It's gone. It ain't coming back. It's like the crocodile hunter. It's gone. He ain't coming back, unfortunately. My number one right now is Franco's. Hands down, it does not matter. My second best still is bocce. I love the sauce. You know, large cheese. I don't eat pepperoni no more, but it used to be a large cheese pepperoni, extra sauce. That was my thing. And then number three right now is actually, and this is a new one, is Pearl Street. Pearl Street Bar and Grill, don't sleep on a pizza. Now, this is a highly debatable topic because there's 600 pizzerias in Buffalo. So if you're going to argue with me, do it in the comment box so I can see too. And I'll always try some different ones. Now, let's get into the wings. Again, my wings has changed. I've been out here eating, y'all. It don't look like it, but I've been eating a little bit. Now, again, highly debatable. Everybody makes wings in Buffalo. Everybody makes wings around the country. For some reason, Atlanta thinks they make the best wings and they're disgusting. I don't know what y'all doing in Atlanta with them chicken wings, but they're not good. Stop saying y'all the best. You should really come to Buffalo and get a couple wings. I'll take you to some great spots. My number one right now, and this is not only the variety they have when it comes to wings, but the crispiness. You don't have to call them up. Hey, I need my wings extra crispy. They know the deal. And this is Wing Kings over on South Elmwood. Hands down, I mean, lemon pepper, hot, medium, mild, barbecue charbecue they throw it back on the grill they even have a loganberry wing now i won't recommend a loganberry wing but if you adventurous go ahead and try it out my second and this is in no particular order besides my number ones the second is the heights on main street now this is a small dope little bar but they got a wing in there that's so good they got a chicken parm wing no exaggeration it has not missed in a year every single time i get these wings they don't miss i'm telling you make sure you go in there and get a drink the drinks are super affordable nice chill laid back bar Now, number three, it has to be none other than, you know, the originators, which is Bar Bills. Whether you in East Aurora, I would recommend that one, or you go into the one in the North Towns, which is in Clarence, Bar Bills is definitely number three. And number four will have to be Gabrielle's Gate. Now, for the most part, Duff's is still up there, but I think the those four spots are a lot better than Duff's, especially with the consistency. Now, if you just want to go to the famous spot over there on Amherst, do your thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? That probably is the best Duff's around the one over on Sheridan Drive in Amherst. Let's get into the fish fries because I know everybody loves those. My, number one, you guys know I rave about this. Even when I, if you haven't already, watch the uh, the top fish fries or the best fish fries in Buffalo video that I did. That's a good one. I promise you. Now, number one, the Flaming Fish. We just did an entire interview. I know the owners, personally, Chanel and Deanna. They are a dope couple, great restaurant, but that fish. I'm telling you, 
it is amazing they got a shrimp po' boy in there they have obviously the fish dinners they also make salads with the shrimp on it. i mean they have so much good stuff and they're coming around out with a brunch menu as well that i'm very very excited now number two for the fish fry will have to be fat cats and we'll talk about them later on too because they're really a soul food place but they got a fish fry in there they got a lemon pepper haddock or catfish Woo, I'm telling y'all, <laughs> it hits every single time. Now, you can't get it plain. You don't have to get a lemon pepper, but I will highly recommend it. And number three for the fish fry will have to be curries over in Kenmore. That's probably the best beer batter fish I've had or like, you know, the liquid beer uh, batter fish I've had ever. That is a very good place. Now, there's a couple other like WeChex Lounge and things like that, but those are my top three hands down. Trust your boy on this one. Let's switch over to my second favorite dish, which is a Mexican Mexican food and or tacos. You guys know that is my thing when it comes to a good taco or fajita. That's the way to your boy's heart. My number one will have to be Taqueria Ranchos. Now you can either go to the one on Niagara Street, which is the originator, but they did just open up downtown on Delaware. That place is jumping at night, I'm telling you and you get the good margarita with the fajitas and you have the i like because like when you go in there you can put your own toppings on your taco like now you know they give you the guac the salsa sour cream stuff like that but they do have other spices and other levels of the heatness of the salsa right inside like that buffet bar or whatever you want to call it but hands down that's probably the best taco place in or mexican spot around buffalo i don't care what anybody says now number two would have to be la davinas they're pretty good over there on kenmore well not kenmore i'm sorry right there over on south buffalo they're very very good as well and then number three will have to be coyotes cafe over in hamburg they rave about i mean they only open from i think it was four to like 10 so it's all basically dinner shifts and on saturday sunday i believe they open up at like 12 or 1 so you gotta get in there after 12 pretty much but they are amazing in a spot we just found out this is kind of a bonus one which is left coast taco in east aurora we went there on a wednesday you would have thought it was a saturday evening how many people was outside waiting for these tacos Now, Soul Food, as we mentioned earlier, the number one spot, hands down, doesn't matter, I don't care what you guys say, will have to be Fat Cats over on Kensington, without a doubt. Their Soul Food is the best in town. Now, they do have a runner-up with Two Time. This is downtown, so uh, to, uh, Fat Cats is over on the east side, which is like Kensington, Bailey area, but Two Time is right downtown on Ellicott Street, Ellicott, I'm sorry. And they, I'm, them, they're neck and neck. It's very tough with them too. I can just say that right now. They are both excellent cuisines, both handmade, fresh. You can tell Mama was back there whipping it up. And the guy from Two Time, I, I don't think he's from Buffalo, but everything he gets all his ingredients are all locally farmed and you can taste the freshness for a fact but now when it comes to italian i'm not a big pasta guy so i can tell you that straight up but there, when I was eating a little bit of pasta, definitely Lombardo's over on Hurdle and North Buffalo for sure. You have Bacha's over downtown and you also have Hutch's as well. Now Hutch's, they have a plethora of different things. To me, they're kind of more fine dining as a general whole than just Italian, but definitely Bacha's, uh, Lombardo's for sure. 
we don't eat Olive Garden up here, so I hope y'all wasn't expecting me to say that. But there's a couple other spots around that's Italian that's really, really good. Again, I'm not a big pasta guy, but there are plenty of Italian spots. I know seafood. Now, you really have two main to me. You have Hooked Restaurant, which is over in Williamsville. I mean, clams, crabs, lobsters, you name it, they have it. Hooked Restaurant and seafood, I mean, sea bass. I mean, they got a bunch of different stuff. So Hooked Restaurant is right on the corner, uh, right on Main Street and Williams. I think that's, what is that? South Cayuga, I think that is. South Cayuga Main Street, one of those two. But I know it's sitting on Main Street. Kind of tough parking though. That's the only thing when it comes to that. Tough parking over there. So just be prepared to either valet your car or walk a little bit if you're coming down one of the side streets. And number two will have to be Lucius on the lake. Now this is in Hamburg and it takes about two months just to get in. Again, more of a fine dining experience. Wear a shoe and suit and tie for sure. But Lucius on the lake is definitely a great seafood spot. It takes a long time to get in there, but the wait is highly, 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 highly worth it. I can tell you that straight up, especially if you get on a rooftop or you get the terrace out there and you get to overlook the water at night. Ooh, that's so more romantic. That's what it is right there as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions make sure you guys drop them in the comment box below now there's a plethora of different restaurants you guys know all this stuff is highly debatable depending on your taste so make sure you guys let me know in the comment box what your favorite restaurant is and which are what are a couple that i should definitely try out i definitely will uh, make note of them so that i can go uh, check out uh, some new restaurants that i haven't yet so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and as always i will see you guys inside the next one